I'm going to be doing a demonstration of tracing, transferring, and layering images to composite them for a, um, from a um, new artwork. Okay, so I have here some mushrooms, some drawings I made, some tracing paper, transfer paper, and some Bristol board. I also have some tape, two pens, a black one and a red one, a um, pair of scissors, and a kneaded eraser. I'm gonna use this pen instead. Okay, so um, to trace, simply want to put your paper over your image and trace over. And there's my mushroom. Then I will also I can do either on a different sheet of paper or use the same paper. Use the same paper to trace this bear. These are drawings from the Natural History Museum. And I also have like this turkey vulture head up here, which is pretty cool. Let's get this guy up here. mess up, you know, just make another line, doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm then actually going to cut these out. You can use different pieces and trace um, over multiple things, um, but when you want to arrange them, it's easiest to kind of cut them out if they're not, if you want to, so you can play around with the positioning of things. Part of this assignment is to play around with the position of the layers. So I'm going to cut these things out loosely. All right. And get my Bristol. Arrange some things on the page. How do I want these to be? By the way, you can flip this either way. Isn't that cool? Um, maybe the bear will be walking along and we'll see a mushroom. And a turkey vulture will be looking from the sky. So you could take some tape and tape your things together how you want them. And I also like to tape it down to my page. Now artist tape is a really good thing to use here and not masking tape because the masking tape can leave a sticky residue. So don't push very hard. You can also make it not as sticky by kind of touching it a little bit. But it's important that you tape things down just so that they stay put while you use your transfer paper. You want to use the dark side down. Let's see, I've already transferred traced some stuff here. You can reuse this paper a few times. Be very gentle with it because it does not erase easily. So don't push on it. Like for example, if I push on it here or scratch it or something, look what happened. Oh. So, and then it's going to be very, very hard to erase that. See how it's pretty much permanent? So, yeah, it's hard to erase things once they're there. So, don't push on it anywhere that you don't want to mark. So, I'm going to trace this. I'm oh, sorry, transfer this. So, to transfer it, I just use my red pen so I can see where I've been. This is important for me, at least it is. It's always helped me because often if I'm tracing something really complex, I will completely lose sight of what I've already done and I'll just retrace the same thing. So the red pen is helpful. You can use a green pen. It doesn't have to be red. You can use different colors. So that line in there actually I think is not supposed to be there. Actually, no, it is. Okay. 
All right, good. And then mushroom, right? Mushroom. And then move this up here for the turkey vulture. Try not to put pressure on the paper. I'm just gonna like, my hand's not even really pushing against it. You're only putting pressure with your pen tip. Okay. Now, I can lift up, you can see what I have. I have my stuff traced. And I messed up a little bit there. I would suggest that happens to you. Get in there with a white vinyl eraser, particularly something small, and really try to erase it out. If you can't erase it, then you gotta do some creative artwork with what you got and try to cover it. Or another possibility is scraping it off with an X-Acto blade, which is not really for the faint of heart. It's kind of a complicated trick. But if you absolutely can't get something off, grab an X-Acto blade and very lightly scrape it in different directions. Don't use the point. Scrape it from the sides. But you can see how it's starting to come off, right? You probably want to rotate when you do that so you're scraping from different directions. You see how it lifts up? So that's kind of a top secret technique. If something really won't come off. It's very light side scraping with this X-Acto knife. All right, thank you.